you all for all the love and support that we've been getting in the last two weeks. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. If you do it in the first two hours, you may win a power bank. Shout out to Vishal Raj who won it last week. Your power bank is on its way. Moving on to our first thing. In global launches, we have some good news for Pixel lovers. Google looks to be all set to launch Pixel device, the Pixel 4a. In the latest information that we've got from Google Pixel is that Pixel 4a will be launched on August 3rd. But it will take some time to come to end. It gets a single selfie camera in a punch hole display on the front and a single rear camera with a flash. It also gets a capacitive fingerprint scanner and a headphone jack. The Pixel 4a will feature thinner bezels than the Pixel 3a. In India launches, the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys about is the Xiaomi MI TV stick. It was launched globally and now it is arriving from the Indian market on August the 5th. Let's see what it has to offer. The plug and play device can turn your normal TV into smart by bringing support for a number of apps like Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube and a lot more in full HD resolution. Now the Xiaomi TV stick features Google Assistant and Chromecast which will help cast directly from your smartphones. This stick will mostly be cheaper than the MI Box 4K and it will be launched in the Indian market in May and it will compete with the Amazon Fire Stick. On Tuesday, Huawei unveiled its amazement with S Lite in India. It is now available on Flipkart and its own online store through a flash sale which has already started on July 28th. Now the second flash sale is on August the 3rd and it is also available on Flipkart and its official Amazfit store in India. This new Amazfit is the lighter variant to the Bib S launched last month in India. At 30 grams, the ultra lightweight and thin design smartwatch comes equipped with a power packed battery and a transflective always on color display. It supports 5 ATM water resistance and the smartwatch promises excellent battery life of up to 30 days. On Thursday, Huawei launched its Huawei FreeBuds 3i TWS earbuds with active noise cancellation and a unique in-ear design that comes with a triple mic setup in India. The TWBuds have been unveiled for around 10,000 rupees and it also promises a playback of up to 3.5 hours. The Huawei earbuds come with four silicon tips in different sizes for comfort and a secure fit. The weight of each earbud is about 5.5 grams and the charging case is about 51 grams, making it light and easy to carry. These buds would be available in two classic colors, carbon black and ceramic white. Here's a mind-blowing news for nature nomads, road trippers and adventure seekers. GoPro launches its lifestyle gears including bags, apparel and accessories with its legendary durability and versatility. These lifestyle gears are now available worldwide on GoPro.com. GoPro Plus subscribers get an exclusive 30% discount of the new lifestyle gear line. Sony India introduced the latest edition of the Soundbar range, the HT G700. The new model offers a powerful and immersive sound so that customers can stay entertained while staying at home. The Sony soundbar features cinematic experience with a 3.1 CH soundbar supported by Dolby Atmos. It has a wireless subwoofer for powerful bass and dedicated center speaker for crystal clear dialogue. You can experience immersive sound with audio enhancement and S-Force Pro technology. It offers customers an enhanced and compelling cinematic experience right in the comfort of their home. The soundbar is priced at around 39,990 rupees and it is available across all Sony retail stores as well as major electronic stores and other e-commerce websites in India. Known for its glorious 51 years, Hisense, a leading consumer electronics and appliance manufacturer, is now entering the Indian market with a whole range of products including the next generation technology display products like the 100 inch laser TV, the 86 inch 8K TV, dual cell QLED TV and the OLED TV. Besides these futuristic technology products, the brand will be launching its range of QLED, Ultra HD and Smart Televisions on August 6th on Amazon, Flipkart, Tataclick and Reliance Digital, followed by intelligent ACs and premium side-by-side -side refrigerators this year. This week we have introduced how-tos and today I'm going to show you how to check if an app is Chinese. And for this, I need my glasses. First, head 
to your Google Play Store on your Android phone, then type the application you want to check and scroll into the blog. Here you will find a header named Developer Contact and it's right below Ratings and Reviews. Tap the option and you'll get all the details of the developer like its email, website, address and privacy policy. Now you can also choose to detect if an app is Chinese through third party applications, but I would recommend that due to safety concerns. Now moving on to our top 10 news of this week and we have some surprises here. Let's see it in short. Vivo V19 price reduced. Vivo V19 was originally launched at a starting price of 27,990 rupees but now it will be available to buy at around 24,990 rupees in India. The new prices are reflecting online on both Amazon and Flipkart. OnePlus teasers always on display. The always-on display feature which is already available on Samsung Galaxy, Oppo and a number of other rival devices will arrive in OnePlus with the Android 11 update. Images leaked of the iPhone 12 model. Images of the latest iPhone 12, the 5.4 inch model have leaked on Chinese social media platform Weibo. The iPhone maker is expected to unveil four models this fall including a new smaller iPhone with a 5.4 inch display. Qualcomm announces Quick Charge 5. Now Qualcomm on Monday unveiled the latest iteration of its fast charging technology. Quick Charge 5, the world's first 100 watt plus fast charging solution for smartphones which promises to change the device from 0 to 50% in 5 minutes. Garmin wearables suffer massive global outage after a possible ransomware attack. Garmin's wearable trackers and smartwatches suffered a massive outage globally and remained disconnected for almost a day after being hit by a possible ransomware attack. They are working to resolve the issue and will be back with a secure system as quickly as possible. Google AR Search reportedly adds 23 new insects to its AR Search feature, allowing users to virtually see them roaming in their homes. The new insects added to the AR search include various kinds of beetles and butterflies. CES 2021 unfortunately goes online. CES, the annual consumer electronics show that takes place in Las Vegas each year, is one of the biggest events in the tech industry and it's going virtual for 2021. Gary Shapiro, the president and CEO of the Consumer Technology Association, shared a video message on Twitter where he outlined how next year's CES will be online. Government bans more than 47 Chinese apps. The 47 apps that have been banned by the latest decision of the government were operating as the clones of the 59 apps that were banned last month. Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 renders elite. The smartwatch, which is all set to be unveiled at the Galaxy Unpacked event on August 5th, has been showcased on videos and on blogs ahead of its launch. Recently leaked renders show a closer look at the 41mm and 45mm variants of the smartwatch, the titanium silver option and the mystic bronze color one. Techno is expected to launch a new smartphone. Techno is expected to launch a new smartphone under a popular Best Battery Spark series. This launch will further strengthen Techno's position among top smartphone players in the sub 10k segment. The new Spark smartphone will get launched in India first in line with its India first strategy of Techno. Adhering to segment first product DNA of Techno, it may come with the biggest battery and biggest screen in the sub 8k segment. And that's it for the day. I will see you guys next week with all the latest and updated news from the tech world. Till then, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop a video. I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe.